Hello everyone, this is Vas, contributor and community moderator of Shadium. In this video, we will be uh, creating our Shadium wallet address or copying the wallet uh, Shadium wallet address uh, for POV. So first, what you have to do is we have to create your MetaMask wallet. So we have to add this particular MetaMask, you know, uh, extension to the Chrome. Uh, when when you actually open this particular link, this this links will be also uh, you know pasted in the description as well. So you will find some uh, an interface something like this, and you will find this particular button on the top right which says add to uh, add to Chrome. So when you click on it. When you click on it, it says it asks you uh, add MetaMask extension. So add extension. You have to click on it, add extension, and then wait for a couple of seconds, and you'll actually find it's downloading, and then it has been installed. So now the MetaMask has been installed uh, in in your browser. If you know, it should uh, take you to this type of interface. In case it didn't take you to any uh, interface like this, then you know, you in the top right, you'll find an extension button uh, left to your uh, you know profile picture. You know, click on it and you'll actually find you know metamask here and then click on it, it both both the things work as well so now you will find you'll actually find get to this interface now what you have to do is click on get started get started and you know click on i agree ignore this so here is the thing so if you already have an account you can log in from uh, you know clicking on import wallet whereas if you are new to metamask you have to you know create your own wallet so click on create a wallet so first it will ask us to choose a password so um Actually, I'm choosing a password for it, and then I check that I have read and agreed terms and conditions, and then I click on create. Now I have created secure your wallet, so click on next. So you know you'll get to the uh, an interface something uh, like this, which says secret recovery phrase. So your secret recovery phrase makes it easy to back up and restore your account warning or disclose your secret code. So you know this this particular secret recovery, you know this particular secret recovery phrase acts like uh, you know key. This is the only key. To your uh, metamask address if you lose this then you will lose your metamask as well so make sure you write it down in a paper or store it somewhere as well it, it is a set of tool uh, keywords i will you know click on this particular uh, click here to reveal secret word you can actually see my uh, you know key you I, in in this case i am actually showing it to you in the real case you should not show this to anyone anyone in in, in any end of this world can actually you know access your metamask so please don't share this to anyone keep it as secret okay and then you know you you should you know uh, copy it in some notepad in my case i will copy here uh, and then click on next so now what you have to do is in the previous uh, you know slide in which in which uh, the order these words these uh, words were there you have to you know uh, get them in the same order so first let's get them let's arrange them in the correct order so first one is pudding and first one pudding select pudding and then second one is you know place setup second one is place third one is setup and then history direct friend history direct friend and then quantum sorry claw quantum sorry claw cry climb piano cry climb piano that's it and then we have arranged them in the same order and then click on confirm so it's just something like congratulations yeah we have successfully created our metamask account and now click on all done you now you will find uh, an interface something like this which um, you know this is the particular network this particular network is ethereum mainnet network as we have to add shadium liberty 2.0 network what we have to actually do is you know beside ethereum mainnet you can actually find a down arrow if you click on it it will show you the list of networks uh, here only ethereum mainnet is added so it will show only this particular thing and what you have to do is click on add network and then it will show you list of networks we don't have shadium liberty 2.0 in it so below uh, scroll down and you'll find add a network manually click on it and it will take you to this page now we have to add the details for this details we have to go to you know shadium.org and network and then net, uh, the endpoints in it now you'll find two networks 1.6 and 2.0 we have to add 2.0 so uh, you know when you go to metamask actually go to metamask you'll first find network name so same here in the liberty 2.0 copy the network name and then simply paste it then rpc url so go copy this rpc url and then paste it chain id 081 paste it and current symbol shm paste it and then block url so we have copied everything the details now what we have to do is click on just click on save that's it so we have successfully added chadium liberty 2.0 to our metamask uh, at the center of this particular uh, interface you can see uh, account number one which is uh, and then you know you can actually see some digits on, under it that's that's basically the address of this account and when you actually hover on this particular you know account number uh, and then address it says copy to keyboard and then when you click on it it says copied you know it says copied that's it that's it that's how you copy your address and when you paste in anywhere you can actually see your address wallet address so that's 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 how you actually copy your wallet address so that's it for the video thank you